The playing of the national anthem at sporting events is a sacred moment. It's an uplifting song identified with a particular group. A solemn, patriotic song adopted by a country as an expression of national identity. A moment for people to reflect on the present and the past. <laughs> you know, well, there are just some moments of our world's past that don't really need reflecting on. So when a Nazi era anthem was sang during a recent United States versus Germany Fed Cup match in Hawaii, some people were, uh, yeah, they weren't too thrilled. I'm not so sure there's a word or a phrase to actually describe how epically disastrous this was. Because epically disastrous doesn't even do that situation justice. Somehow, opera singer Will Kimball, forever infamous now, sang the wrong version of the German national anthem. The tune was right, but the words he sang were very, very wrong. The words in a particular verse that said, Germany, Germany, above all, above all in the world. This verse was dropped after World War II because of its close association with Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime. The United States clearly has expressed their embarrassment at this colossal error. And the American Tennis Federation has profusely apologized. But what's done is done. And a massive mistake that will hopefully be forgiven will most certainly not be forgotten. Ironically enough, this isn't the first time this has happened in tennis. At a Davis Cup match in Sydney, Australia in 2003, a version of the Spanish anthem, not in use since the 1930s, was played. One that included lyrics referring to a man who wipes his booty on King Alfonso XII. In regards to this more recent flub, the German Tennis Federation and players are pretty peeved. I thought it was the epitome of ignorance, and I've never felt more disrespected in my whole life, let alone on Fed Cup, said Germany's Andrea Petkovic, adding that she actually even considered walking off the court before her singles match against Allison Risk. German team tennis coach Barbara Ritter said the mistake was an absolute scandal, a disrespectful incident, and inexcusable. And to kind of sum it up, German Tennis Federation Chief Ulrich Kloss said, Our American hosts at the Fed Cup opening in Hawaii made a mistake that should not happen. The fact that in year 2017, a wrong anthem can be played that is associated with the horror of the past was for players and staff and the officials present both shocking and disturbing. Bravo, United States. Bravo. Perhaps a bit more careful due diligence when preparing these songs is, you know, maybe something that should happen in the future.